Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my, uh, is it turd or is it treasure type videos? Uh, I was going through my Wii. Um, I literally set it up not that long ago to record a new game that has not started going up yet, so I'm not going to say anything. And I was going through what was actually on here because, of course, the Wii's been long, 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 long shut down. And as I was exploring, I found this game down here. My life, let's turn the sound on for the Wii, my life as a Dark Lord. Now, I had totally forgotten about this. And this is a game that I did actually spend a little bit of time on back in the day. My then ex actually played the shit out of it. And as soon as I saw this image, I suddenly like kind of like, was like, wow, I, I completely forgot about this game. So I actually looked this up. This game obviously came out in 2009, like it says there. But I didn't realise that this is something to do with Final Fantasy. It's part of the Crystal uh, Chronicles series, which I didn't know about. I suppose looking at the design of the um, title there, it's very Final Fantasy-esque. But another thing that I looked up is what other platforms did this come out on? And it didn't. It didn't come out on any other platform, so the Wii is the only system that this launched on, which is interesting. Because uh, with the fact that there's no longer any access to the online Wii store, unless you've got a hacked or modified Wii, which is pretty easy to do, uh, there's no real way of playing it. I suppose you could get an emulator. But yeah, I just suddenly, uh, suddenly thought about this game. Now, I don't think I ever finished it. I don't think I personally actually ever played it that much, but I did watch a fair amount of it way back. So I thought it might be fun just to have a little look at this and see if this is actually any good. Um, I haven't looked up any uh, reviews of the game or anything like that, but I'm just pretty interested that this was a download um, only for the Wii. Now, I do remember it is a tower defense game, which as a rule, I quite like some of them. Now, obviously, this was never physically released, as far as I could tell. It's only download, uh, which is so strange. The Wii, of all things, but let's get into it anyway. Unfortunately, we can't use any other control method apart from this, and this is one of the old-school Wiimotes that doesn't have the Wii Motion Plus built in. We've got the actual extra dongle thing there. Not that I think we're going to use it for this game, but, you know, Square Enix... Yes, I still remember the glory days when they used to call themselves Square Enix. No, Square Soft, Square Enix. That's what they're called now, you fool. Let's have a little look at this. Please hold the Wiimote horizontally. Yes, Dad. So straight away, the presentation is very nice. Very joyful uh, Final Fantasy music there. I like, very nice. Press any button. Now, I did try it. Because I know some of these games, and my mic, there we go. Some of these games were compatible with the uh, control pads, the GameCube ones. But alas, this one is not. Which is a shame. I did actually manage to find my WaveBird. These are actually really quite hard to find now and very expensive. But my one is missing the battery cap. But I have managed to order a new one. So happy days indeed. So we're stuck with the Wiimote. Let's get into it. Uh, oh shit! When was the last time we played this? 2010. And then like, six months later. Huh. Weird. That's weird. Oh no, yeah, 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 six months later. Mental, okay. Well, let's go for new game. Uh, we're gonna start from start a new game. Uh, play the tutorial stage. Yeah, sure, why not? We might as well, because I obviously haven't played it. In a world free of Misema, the monsters of the land finding themselves in a dire state hold themselves up inside the Dark Lord's massive tower. I thought this was spoken, but it's not. The tower was once ruled by a kind, just, and extremely handsome man. <laughs> well, oh, I don't think they're talking about me, sadly. That man's name was Kray Kraydal, the Dark Lord. Oh. 
The monsters spent their days fighting off adventurers who dared to trespass upon their tower. But all good things must come to an end. Mm -hmm. In order to protect the very monsters he held so dear, Cradle decided to offer his own life. Damn. Holy shit. Okay. And in doing so, Cradle was sealed inside a dark crystal. And quiet, tranquil days soon returned to the monster's tower. Months and years of bliss passed, until one fateful day when a new Dark Lord was finally crowned. That moment arrived on the 16th birthday of Myra, the Dark Lord's one and only daughter. Okay. The messenger from the inferno. <laughs> okay, I, I'm liking the presentation of this. It's fun. It's cool. I like the colors as well. The great cursed sorceress. The devious demon of death. Or perhaps... The diabolical hideous princess of doom. I like these names. Oh, <laughs> God. Cower in fear, adventurers, for this day forward, I am the new ruler of darkness. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I like this. This is cute. <laughs> and my first order of business, total war between people and monsters. Ah, oh, slow down, uh, Myra. That, that's a bit extreme. And can I say, actually, her character model looks really quite good. Haven't actually seen a, a Wii game. Oh, wow, look at this. Chapter 1, The War Begins. This is... The presentation is superb. Um, yeah, her character model is very good. I, I haven't seen a proper Wii game for a long time. I'm so used to using it to play GameCube games, I've actually forgotten that the Wii could comfortably outdo the GameCube. Myra may have wasted no time boldly declaring war on the world, but truth be told, she didn't know the first thing about modern Dark Lord-ing. Oh. Realizing this, Myla, Myla, Myra swiftly fired off an order to her minions. The Toonberries. Tonberries? Oh, this is fancy. Tonberries, teach me how to do all of this stuff. <laughs> yes, princess! Yeah, there's a few of them. With the princess's NP, we can build a nice, strong tower. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't read all of this. Holy shit. One at a time, guys. Jeez. This is too hard. Oh, God. All this busy work is so boring. I want to go beat up some people already. Let's start with that kingdom first. Uh, jumping the gun much. Oh, cool, got like a map screen. Oh, I remember this. It's all coming back to me. Hope you're ready, hapless adventurers. I have a killer new item, and I can't wait to test it. I like her outfit as well, it's cool. Chapter one, the war begins. Look at this presentation, man. It's so cool. Oh, mate, a HD remaster of this would be quite something. All right. Well, the war begins. We have 650 hearts, I suppose. I, I suppose that's cool. Um, we can expand. We have five adventurers. We can upgrade. Let's grade out. What items do we have? Shockwave, blast arrow. All right. Well, I... <laughs> listen to the sound effects. Oh, that's so joyous. I like that. That's cool. Uh, okay, so let's start this battle. Begin the stage. Aye, laddie. To war. You can't change. You can't charge headlong into war without knowing the basics, princess. There's much to learn. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with this dude. The object to guard the dark crystal at... Oh, the object... The object? That's really weird. The objective? Or, yeah, that's that's kind of strange. So the objective is to guard the dark crystal at the top of the tower and dispatch the invading adventurers. The crystal will be destroyed if the adventurers reach the top, resulting in our army's defeat. 
Repel all of the invaders, and the Dark Lord army will be victorious. Build up an impregnable, impregnable defense for the tower and fend off those foul aggressors. Hmm. Start battle! Uh, okay. Old uh, Van Beige Road. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Hello. You can open the stage menu anytime during the during battle to pause the action. Okay. Select place floor and choose a floor to place in the tower. It's ah, that's money. Okay. Placing floors uses up NP. Negative power. Which is displayed in the upper right. So you can... Uh... I'll stack up as many floors as I can and make those adventurers beg for mercy. She's evil. I like it. Okay, so we have the Iron Ball. Alright. So it looks like... So these rooms have health? Do they get destroyed? So it's got three slots, I guess. Costs 50 to build. And its attack is one third of a bar. Does light melee damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. Let's get another one of those motherfuckers in here. I guess... I guess that's all we can do at the moment. Let's, like, stick, like, four of these in here, then. Oh, now we can, like, zoom in. Ha! This iron ball will show them. Ha! Level one trainee. Fool! Come into my dominion of doom. I love the presentation. You know, this game would look fantastic. Oh. Some floors may contain, may contain traps like iron balls. These are known as artifacts. When an artifact durability hits zero, the floor will be destroyed. Oh. So they can destroy our artifacts. I see. Your enemy will advance up the floors towards the crystal. Add more floors to put obstacles in their way. Okay. Princess, you must add floors above the one the uh, the adventures are on at the moment. Yeah, okay. I kind of remember that. So that bar is kind of like the cooldown. I see. Oh. Right. Well, I guess this is kind of like where we just sit back and enjoy the chaos. So this guy looks like he's going to take four hits to kill. And well, we got four floors. Can we, like, build another one? Yeah, we can build another one. Alright. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through here. This is cool. Yeah, if they, um, prayed this up with HD, it would look really spiffy, I think. Look at this. This is top quality, like, presentation. It really is. Uh, now, can we repair our floors? That's what I want to know. Where's that Tonberry where, when, when you want him? Oi, dude! Is our money persistent as well? Like, if we spend all of our cash here... Oh, God. Ah, we get money for when, when we kill an enemy. Okay. So, I'm curious. Yeah, if we uh, use all of our cash here... Are we going to struggle in later levels? That doesn't really make too much sense. Um, my rooms are about to explode. This guy's going to destroy all of my rooms. Oh, shit. The first floor's been destroyed. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. You little bastard. You're destroying my tower. Son of a bitch. I like the way there's some variation between the rooms as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the floors have been destroyed. Calm down, for God's sakes. All right, let's get the, let's keep these floors going. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to Papa. All right. Yeah, this is fun. I could probably get back into this again. I think if I had the time. Although it's definitely one of those typical tower defense games where you just spend most of the time standing around waiting for stuff to happen. It is curious though that it only came out on the Wii. That's rather unusual. And I definitely imagine this is going to get more chaotic. I am stopping them. I won, but of course I won. He wasn't going to get through, silly woman. 
Monsters. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think we can put monsters in the rooms to, like, pad them out. I think. So what are these? Karma. What does karma do? Got 45 karma. That's great, but I don't know what it does. Saving in progress. You now have monsters in your force, which means you can summon them to battle. Try summoning a few in your next skirmish. Yes, boss. I definitely like the map screen and everything. The war begins. Oh, look, we've got like towers and villages. Do we have to take these over? I guess so. Cool. All right, then. Let's go to the next one. Um, Old Van Beige Road 2. Why does that remind me of, like, uh, uh, Super Mario Land? Road 2 and stuff like that. That's cool. What about, what's the upgrade do? Oh. This screen is where you can spend karma to upgrade your monsters. I see. I thought we upgraded floors. Smack the enemy about and win lots of battles to earn a wealth of karma. Right you are. So we only have 45 karma. It's going to get expensive. Look how cool and like detailed that model is. Very nice. What does expand do? Princess, expanding the tower lets you build more floors and makes the battle that much easier for you. Hmm. Okay. The most floors you can place is currently 5, but by expanding your tower you'll be able to place up to 10. Ah, it's 100. Okay. And I guess we can... Uh, we can do that another four times, I guess. Well, we can't spend that because we don't have that. Right, well, to battle. Begin the stage. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Princess, try to summon monsters to your floors. Uh, yeah, all right, buddy. Start. Okay, all right, place floors. All right, let's... We need to stick five floors in. No, four. Now let's summon. Oh. So they don't do as much damage as the Iron Ball, and they have less health, but I'm guessing I'm guessing that will allow our rooms to do more damage. Right, let's just do that. Let's see see what happens. So does that mean that our rooms get four attacks now? Ready do gooders, this will be fun. Indeed. Let's give those guys a shock. Yes, quite. I'm sure. You can skip this up. Battle will begin if there are any monsters on the floor. Alright. When the battle time reaches zero, the enemy will move to the next floor. Alright. Oh, I see. So the battle time's got to be that uh, clock at the top there. But they're killing my monsters! No! Oh, they actually stay in each room for a good amount of time. Come on, you fools. Prepare to die. Is... Yeah, the iron ball is actually hitting as well. That's good to know. Well, I wonder if this is more cost effective. Ah! They seem to... Okay, so they attack... A lot. Is it a random creature? It seems to be. But they're not attacking the room, which is good. Oh, I like. Come on, you bastards. Come into my cage of death. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, this guy's level two. This guy's got some bigger balls. Alright, be wary of his tricks, monsters. And we are building our cash back up, which is good. Now, I wonder if there's a way to speed it up. Oh, we can zoom in even more, though. Ah, hang on. What's this? Unit types. Melee units are strong against range units. Range units are strong against magic units. Magic units are strong against melee. 
Ooh. Generic units deal regular damage to all units. Healer units specialize in healing and will never attack. Ah. Pitting similar unit types against each other limits your potential for dealing major damage. Right, so we've got a rock, paper, scissors kind of dealio going on here. That's cool. I like the way you can move, uh, like zoom right in on the action. Because this game's quite detailed. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's 60 frames. It feels very smooth. And how did these guys all get healed? I'm not quite sure. Doesn't seem to be a way of speeding time up. Which is a shame. Although maybe we can find that out. We have defeated five of them. Yes. There's one left. Come on you fool. I'm sure actually that we could. Somehow. Oh, so when no one's in the room, I guess monsters heal themselves? That's good to know. So we could have defeated all of these guys with one room, basically. That wasn't very efficient. Hmm. Brilliant work, princess. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Come required. Oh, defend... defeat bonus. Okay, so I'm not sure how, like, the defeat bonus is calculated. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going. Now, we don't quite have enough karma yet, so... Yeah, so you always start with 650 money. Uh, we've got eight adventurers here. Ah, look there. Tells you the reward. Yeah, so we can redo these, actually, to grind out money. But the financial reward goes right down. Let's begin the battle. Come on, my minions of doom. Forwards! Hmm. All right. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting to do that. Right, place floor. Bonk. And boink. And boink. Right, let's summon. Let's max these rooms out. I'm guessing sooner rather than later they are going to start throwing different monsters at us. Uh, I guess we could just fully power up this room as well. I mean, that's probably a waste of money, but fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, he's only level one. He's a little baby. Come to my dominion, fool. Let's give them a shock. I don't know about a shock, but we're going to give them a bloody great big lump on their head. Pow! 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 Damn, this guy's going to be lucky to leave with any teeth. Uh, looks like we've got another one. Level one, that's fine. We can handle these guys. Right, yeah, so every time the room is empty, we regen health. That's good to know. Alright, and so if they start attacking a different enemy this time, we will actually potentially never lose anyone. I like the way they, uh, when they're injured, they actually change animation state. This is cool. Quite looking forward to seeing what some of the other monsters look like, because the designs are great. However, like a lot of um, tower defense games, I imagine it's a very linear game. You know, every level is always the same. And uh, tower defense games are generally more like puzzles. There is a set pattern to complete the game. And uh, I'm assuming this is the same. The only way they could mix it up is if the enemy um, spawns were random. Which, maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. Oh, two coming at a time. That's fancy. Get the fuck out of my tower, boy. Two level twos as well. This could get messy. Hopefully my goblin's going to get quite a bit of his health back. Now, I'm guessing... Yeah, okay. So, if another adventure enters a floor already being fought over, he will move right on to the next floor. Little goit. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it, so that's why you're going to want to have lots of rooms then. Because I'm 
Oh, wow, look at the damage he just did to my gobbo. Dude, that was brutal. Ah, oh, two more coming again. Defeated five of them. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was almost bad. Hopefully this gobbo is going to get as much health back as possible. Oh, these are the last two. Or does that mean there's two more after this? Wow, they're level three. Holy crap, see how much damage a level three does. Level threes don't fuck around. Still, our large hammers soon smash. Smash their teeth in. Nice. Nice. Me likey. Very much. So we've got 26 points. I wish I knew what the method for getting Carmel actually was. Okay. So. Now I'm kind of tempted to play to like the first boss. But, I mean it's very samey to be honest. Like, once you've seen, like, one mission, I guess you've kind of seen them all. I don't suppose we're going to get anything new. Until we get to the next boss. Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to skip ahead. Um, I'm going to get to that tower and see what happens when we get there. I'm sh pretty sure we get like story or something. So let me just finish up these two missions. If anything like interesting happens, I will add it in. But if not, we'll cut it out. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Oh, we have a black mage arriving, guys. This is something a little bit special. Yeah, we're... Oh, shit. Okay, I have a feeling this black mage is going to do quite a bit of damage to us. Although we might just survive. Though the room is going to be extremely weak. And l oh, no. Uh, we need more rooms. We need more rooms now. Ah, shit. Only five. Okay, we can only have five floors. That's problematic. Um, keep summoning. Can we afford... Yeah, okay. Okay, we're kind of buggered, really. Come on. Get rid of that guy. Get him out of here. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to lose some rooms here. Holy crap. Well, there's not a lot we can do about it, unfortunately. We're just going to have to keep battling on. One floor down. No! Oh. Okay, the floor might be down. But, oh god. Yeah, can we delete floors? I guess not. I guess we can't actually defeat the floors. This guy has to die. If he doesn't die, we're in hot water. Yeah, okay, it's fine. We should. Yeah, we've got this. We've got this. Just. That was actually a close call. We might have to upgrade our dudes. We did almost lose a floor, though. Now, that's cool. We didn't actually lose the floor. Because of the minions. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Dark Dresser acquired. So they're going to deal generic damage, I believe, which is quite cool. I wonder what the hell a Dark Dresser is. We're actually getting more. Uh, we're actually getting more karma as well. Tom, but it, uh, Tom Betty. Oh, Tom Betty. Yeah, let's actually uh, read that properly. There were some black mages amongst the adventurers this time. Those cowardly mages used the magic. 
that simultaneously uh, assails all monsters on the floor. Yeah, I've noticed. Adventurers will attack in different ways depending on their jobs. The way you deal with these adventurers will become very important from now on, Princess. Select information on the stage menu to view the adventurers... Ah, okay. Enemies that target monsters. Target random. Randomly attacks a monster on the floor. Target weakest. Attacks a monster with the fewest HP left. Target all, all monsters. Enemies that... Yeah, okay. Enemies that target artifacts. Oh! So they can bypass the monsters and attack the artifact only. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hmm, so this game suddenly gets a little bit thicker. In uh, strategy. Alright, let's... How do we get information up on the stage? Uh, ah, I see. Adventurers. So we've got five mages and seven generics, I guess? Can we upgrade? We can't upgrade our gobbo. But we can expand the tower. Princess, expanding the tower lets you build more floors. It makes the battle. Yeah, we know that much. Yeah, okay. We're definitely going to have to do this. Okay, so does this actually change? I wonder. You can now place up to 10 floors, and wow, that was bright. Now, how much did it cost to expand again? I bet it's going to cost more than 100 this time. 200 karma. Okay, so it's not like, it's not crazy expensive. But it's not exactly cheap either. Okay, let's start. Now, this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. Fight both. Okay. Oh, support. Oh, effect. Monsters will take less damage. But there's only two slots. And they're cheaper rooms. So let's go offensive, support, offensive, support. All right. So that dark dresser wasn't a monster, it was actually a um, new room. Okay, I don't know how this is going to go down. I'm not sure how the dark dresser protects our dudes. I'm assuming that it's going to heal them, maybe? Time to torment some adventurers. Come on, gentlemen, to battle. Goblin, they're yours. I hope so. We should be fine. Now, we can speed it up by pushing A. That just uh, spawns the next wave in pretty quickly. Now, the fact that they have adventurers is a problem. I hope... Well, they've got five adventurers, which is a problem. Alright, 75. Let's start summoning some monsters. Why is... Why is... Oh, what, what's this? What does this do? Okay. That's just like all your tutorials. I gotcha. Papa Titan understands everything. Come on, minions! Destroy the invaders! Make them pay for every inch. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, let's summon another monster. Okay. I hope we've done the right thing here. I'm not convinced, but... Well, we've made our bed. Now it's time to lie in it. Brutal. They look like they have some serious clubs. I mean, check them out. There's also a hell of a lot of detail on the weapons. Now, what they're going to do, they're going to bum rush us right at the end, aren't they? With all of their bloody mages. Now, these rooms might be cool because they're tougher, but... We're going to get one less attack around. And I don't actually know if the dresser attacks. 
so yeah, not sure. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. You know what? Okay, so pushing A actually did seem to speed that up just a little bit. There we go. Let's spawn the next wave in as well. We should be able to handle it. Yeah, we've got two trainees. That's fine. These guys aren't really denting us, to be honest. Here they come. Gentlemen, prepare bo to repel borders. He's going to get away. Okay. Damn. Might lose that gobbo. At least... Oh, I see. It, like, brings up a barrier that protects them from damage. That's kind of cool, I suppose. I'm not sure, like, how useful that's going to be. Boom! Ah, now we've got our first dickhead. This is where things are going to get a bit dodgy. This is why I've been saving back a little bit of money. So I have a feeling we're going to need to replace some goblins. Ah, we're definitely going to need to replace goblins. Look how tough they are. Holy hell. Maybe. Maybe building those... Ah, we've lost the dude already. Maybe building those... Um, other rooms might be better. We do less damage, but... Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. This is going to get painful, guys. Men! Prepare to repel borders! I do like the effects as well. Shit, he's going straight up. Oh no. Well, we do have a good bit of money. Oh, he's gone straight up to that floor. Summon. Let's get some monsters going. This is going to cost us everything we've got. And we couldn't even afford to max them out. Fuck nuggets. Oh, that room's wiped. Yeah, we we should be fine, though. We'll be fine. We'll get through this. Just. It's got to... Oh, God, I don't know, because we might. Oh, no. Shit. Um, all right, let's get this guy, like, a friend. Because otherwise, we're going to be properly in the poop. Uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely think uh, those defensive rooms are where it's at. Oh, hell. He's a level two. What the cheese and biscuits? Come on. Kill him. Kill him, guys. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. How much health does that guy have? Okay, he's not going to get through. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, the room's been wiped. Alright, summon. Let's replace these dudes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's heating up now. Holy crap. Yeah, even those guys got hit. Uh, this is fine. This should be fine. We're going to have to be in a real bad spot to actually lose. Because there's only two enemies left. So as long as we can hold them back, we'll be alright. Come on, swing those maces. Get those weapons going. We need more minions. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, that's so brutal. Right, you're gone. Let's summon more dudes here. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, he was the last one. Sweet. Well, that was a little bit intense there, guys. Alright. Got some more karma. Definitely think if we can afford it, which I doubt we can. Oh, we might be able to afford it. It would be nice if we can upgrade our... Uh, goblins. No, we can't afford it. That's unfortunate. So. But we can get some more floors. 
I don't think we really need floors, though. Hmm. So we got six magic guys. And we got six uh, generic guys. Uh, can we? We can't upgrade anything, can we? No. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. I wonder, because it's got the HP 72 there and their attack. But it's got level 2, 10 hearts. So do we have to build these guys and then uh, level up their health as well? I don't know. But we can't really do much of anything else. Uh, I suppose we can expand the castle again. But I'm not sure that's really going to help us. Let's start. Let's just go, baby. Let's just go. Let's build loads of defensive floors and see where that gets us. My guess is not very far. Because the support... The support floors do cost half the amount. Let's try... Let's try going with that for now. And then we're going to summon loads of beasties. We are losing a hell of a lot of attack from doing this, mind. But... What we can do... Is then have some more powerful floors on top. Because in theory, by the time... These guys, uh, or the enemies, get up here... They should be pretty weak. I mean, these guys here are going to... Like, be absolutely no threat whatsoever. <laughs> this dark dresser will show them. Yes, the dark dresser is not that impressive, to be honest. Let's keep spawning in more enemies. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not convinced with this dark dresser, actually. To be honest. Alright, let's keep these guys coming. Yeah, so it takes three rounds to actually defeat these guys with the dark dresser. Um, they're just going to keep leapfrogging as well, which is concerning. And also, if we speed up and keep calling the guys in early, it doesn't give our men as much time to regen health, which is obviously an issue. Hmm. I do like the enemy designs as well. They look so good. It's weird. I like it in games where you get to play the evil person for once. It's refreshing. Not many games do it, either. They're definitely, though, they're definitely taking significantly less damage. Which is good, because it's giving us a nice opportunity here. Alright, let's get our last group of monsters. We've still got 50 money left. Yeah, we're really not taking much damage here. This is where things are going to heat up. And these guys are level 2 as well. But... As I said, they are regenerating their health at a nice rate. And that should allow us to build another floor. Uh, we'll go for offensive at the top. And we'll get our first beastie. Get in there, man! Ready for war. I do like the uh, uh, little diagram on the bottom of the screen there. Well, on the bottom, on the left. It's very nicely laid out. It really is. So I wonder if we're going to get like a boss creature or something. Uh, this is where things are going to start getting awkward. But as long as they have enough time to regen, I'm not that worried. Yeah, they definitely take a lot less damage. Alright, there's five of them down. We got 60 for that. Not really sure why. Let's go summon. Okay, cool. So I wonder if we eventually get rooms that will heal our minions faster. Because this just defends them. Yeah, okay. The black mages are coming. One at a time. That's fine by me. We got a lot of rooms though. They've got to scale a long way to attack the heart. But I guess it's not quite as far as you might think. Ah. Summon. 
There we go. I mean, that room has got quite a lot of DPS in there. So they are going to have a problem getting through there. And yeah. Okay. They're not doing that much damage because we're regenerating so much health with these defensive rooms. Now, this is where things are going to get problematic when we've got two of the bastards. Go on, man. Kill them! How much do we get for killing one of these? 80. Okay, well, that gives us enough to build. Nope. That gives us enough to place an offensive room and spawn a minion. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, we've still got five enemies coming. Which is not great. These guys really do have to tank some of this here. Hopefully he's not going to get any further. Come on. Ooh, the second room has taken some serious damage. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I have a feeling we're definitely going to be needing more dudes in the second room. Third room is healing quite nicely, actually. Yeah, he's gone. Now, do I get ready to replace these? Yeah, probably get ready to replace these. Because I can't see them surviving the next attack. Now, let me guess. Oh. Oh. That's a boss. Okay, this is a different ball game altogether. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to repair this this room a little bit. Oh, look at that though! <laughs> it is cool. Ah, so she's got some kind of effect that's ah. They're not going to get attacked. Nice, but they are going to get killed now. Yep. You shall not pass. Get out of here. That's number 10. Not too shabby. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. One down. One down. Summon. Get another man in there. I don't think she's going to win, to be honest. I think she's going to try. Another dude. Actually, how long are you in that room for? Not long. Might get a hit off at her. Right, he's finished. Get out of here. You're done, son. Fuck off. Alright. This is where things are going to get delicate. We're going to have to lean quite heavily on these offensive rooms. Now. We don't really have the money for another offensive room. Although, yeah. Would it be better to get an offensive room, or...? Hmm... Shit. Shit, she's not messing around. Ooh, holy hell, that does so much damage. And she heals. Which ain't great, let's be honest. Ow. So it looks like the one that she curses does less damage. Um, let's place the floor. Let's go for offensive again because it just we need that extra extra attack. I think. <sighs> I know we have little NP left, but there's nothing we can do about it. We might actually lose here, to be honest, guys. I don't know. She still has an awful lot to get through. She doesn't seem to stay in a room very long either. And she is regenerating health. Yep. Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. I think we may lose. But I don't know... What we could probably do differently. Apart from build more uh, offensive rooms. But, 
if we build more offensive rooms, they're probably going to get annihilated. Well, hopefully, she's going to have to... Oh! Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can take her out with these offensive rooms. She is injured. Wow. But holy shit. Yeah, we should have her. She shouldn't be able to survive the last room. Come on. So the... Ah, so the offensive room... Or the iron ball only gets one hit on her. But she's dead. That was close, guys. That was close. Victory! And we unlock scorpions. Who are archers, apparently. Hmm... We got a lot of karma there as well. Oh wow. Yeah, we got a lot of karma there. Which is nice. Chime is a fearsome foe indeed. Her slow spell is a menace, I must admit. There are more status effects uh, to deal with besides that, mind you. Thanks, Ton Betty. Be on the lookout for those annoying status attacks, Princess. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is the list of all the status effects. Poison. Slowly drains HP. Paralyze. Pretty much everything is... As you'd imagine. Oh, and we got buffs as well. Haste. Oh, and slow. Bravery. And bio. Okay. Very cool, guys. So, we made it to the first castle. That was a nice little jingle. <laughs> Get out of here, you bitch. Yes, brilliant princess. Of course I won. What did you expect? There's nothing in the world that I can't do. Now, now. That's, that's egotistical. Wait, what's the meaning of this? Tom Betty. Those people aren't cowering in fear at all. They're celebrating. This is outrageous. What's going on here? It would appear, shall we say, the humorous appearance of our tower has set off a festive atmosphere down below. I'm trying to drown the world in terror here. This isn't supposed to be a party. <laughs> Who needs this ridiculous looking tower? This isn't what I asked for. But you need the Flying Dark Lord Tower, my princess. You wish to conquer the world, if you wish to conquer the world. What are you talking about? Princess, the artifacts and flaws you use, the monsters you summon, indeed, the tower itself. They are all creatures of the power house in the Dark Crystal. Ugh. I just know this is one of Dad's schemes. I bet he's laughing at me right now inside that stupid crystal of his. There's only one thing to do about this. To show him how scary I really am. Right this minute. Princess, perhaps we could find someone famous and defeat him in battle. If we pummel him hard enough, the tales of our brutal Dark Lord will soon spread through all the land. Ton Betty, you're a genius! Ton... Ton Berries. That's such a weird... That's really tripped my eyes. Ton berries? Ton betties? Fuck knows. Go find me the most famous people on the planet. Pronto. Yes, princess. Your days are numbered now, people. I'm going to stomp all over each of you until everything in the world is mine. All mine. Wow. Ego much. And so, with a stumble or two, Maya's quest to conquer the world got off to a glorious start. Hmm. Chapter 2, The Tower's Secret. Myra, the new crown Dark Lord, sent her Tonberry. Yeah, Tonberry. It is Tonberry. Oh, okay, I think the main one is Tom... Ton Betty, but they're actually Tonberries. Okay, minions scurrying in search of someone to torment. What they found for her turned out to be one of the world's most infamous bandit gangs. Following the rumours, Maya's faithful servants tracked down the 
uh, the country that was alleged home to the strip brigands' secret hideout. Everyone in the land, young and old, was enraptured by tales of the elusive gang, led by Silky, or Selkie, Daldat. Silky, Baldat. Huh. If, if uh, Myra could defeat this world renowned bandit force, word of her powers would surely spread like wildfire. With an earnest heart, Myra embarked upon the search for the stripped brigands' base. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's definitely um, further than we went before. But anyway, guys, I think that's given me, uh, well, enough of a, of a gist. Um, yeah, I like it. That's really cool. I think that's quite a nice little uh, little bit of treasure, actually. I could probably, like, quite happily sit down and play that. I think it would probably be a game that I couldn't sit down and play a lot of at once because it's so samey and repetitive. But firing it up every now and again, a um, couple times a week maybe, to slowly bash through it, yeah, I like it. And I like the tower defense kind of gameplay anyway. I love the art style. I love the the presentation as a whole. It's beautiful. Um, fantastic music as well. That typical Final Fantasy stink. Hmm. What a shame that this is only uh, WiiWare. I think this should have come to more platforms because it's really fun. And um, looking, trying to to think back now, I I don't think it was very expensive. There was a DLC pack for it as well, but I don't think I got that. And I did have a look, because I've still got Wii points on this thing. But of course, you can't access the Wii shop anymore, so... Never mind. So, anyway, I would say this was a treasure. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed this. Huh. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've seen something new today. Because uh, I haven't seen a lot on this, to be honest. I mean, there are playthroughs of it. But there ain't many. Hmm. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.